submissive mm-hmm. and dominant. It's mm-hmm. just I have a partner and we have views on different things mm-hmm. and we work together. We like a poly life, but I don't like the emotional attachment. So I bring women home when I feel like a sexual need to be fulfilled and I feel like woman. Everybody, it's your boy QT Dub putting up here with my man JR Wisdom the Wiz, and we are up here with Ms. the Amber. lovely Miss Amber ah. representing Kentucky Cobblers and putting it down. This, I mean, I'm talking about these things are the bomb, but she has graced us with her presence and is going to answer a couple of questions for us. Um, starting off, Miss Amber, uh, we were asking if you are familiar with the uh, male relationship. Um, content as it pertains to high value men. Yes. And you were saying yes. And I see it everywhere. Uh-huh. People who are in relationships, people are single, yes. Okay. And you're right. Like you said, everybody's got an opinion about it, whether they're in a relationship or not. Now, I asked you a, a follow-up question to that, you know, about the high value, because that's what everybody is on. If you felt that most people were average, if most men were average and most women were average, and what did you have to say about that? I personally feel everybody is high value, Aww. but we are high value on different levels. Mm-hmm. Okay. Say for instance, I would not knock a janitor. Got gotcha. you. Got gotcha. you. But I know a chef in the that works at the same mm-hmm. the that would love the janitor. Uh huh. Okay. A teacher might love the principal. Like it's just. So the, so what? So everybody what, have different levels. And I get what you said. So what you're saying is your value is relative. It's relative to who it, to, to who it is. Rate. Okay. All right. So brings me to my next question. That being said, would you watch a live show that were made up of a panel of regular men and regular women that were having a discussion about relationships and dating and how to actually get along with each other as opposed to just screaming talking points about high value and if you're worthy of it or not. Would you watch a show like that? with the regular because I don't feel like anyone's regular. Um, that's why I say we are all high value on our own, on, on a different Well, levels. that's what I mean. But we're, on a panel where I would sit on, mm-hmm. like, okay, I'm not going to say I'm not nobody. I'm not a lawyer, I'm not a doctor, and I'm not the president. Mm -hmm. Yes, I would say that. Because I can relate to people. And also, I do remember, uh, you're currently in a a, um, a long-term relationship, correct? It's been four years. Nice! Four years, congratulations. Um, On a show like this, do you think you and your significant other would be interested in being panelists or something like that? because we look at life from a whole different time. I'm not into, I don't know, I won't say I'm submissive or Mm -hmm. dominant, Mm -hmm. it's just I have a partner and we have views on different things Mm -hmm. and we work together. We like a poly life, but I don't like the emotional attachment. So I bring women home when I feel like a sexual need to be fulfilled and I feel like a woman. Other people's eyes, oh, you crazy, crazy, you know. It's just worse for us. That's what's up, Miss Amber. I feel like, I don't know, I feel like everybody's so boxed in and everybody's so scared to be themselves. They won't do another way unless they see another way. So even people around me, like everybody around me know how I live my life and mm-hmm. respect it. Mm-hmm. And it's like they need something. Well, how do you do this? How do you do this? How do you bring a woman home to your man and don't feel intimidated and oh. y'all are okay? Mm-hmm. I can show you. What? All right. I can tell you. What? All right. Y'all heard that Miss Amber can tell you. Dog, I actually we hope you can tell cool. we hope you can tell us on the panel. Yeah, Cuz we definitely we definitely going we going to reach out to you and your partner. I'm gonna call you. We got to see how this works for both you of y'all. All right, Kev, we hollering at you. A handful. Hey, we hollering, Kev. <laughs> I appreciate your time so much.